Hey folks, this is Philip Lied, Team Lied, Live Your Dreams Every Day. And today I just want to get into something. Um, I want to start off by offering you my rendition of Langston Hughes' A Dream Deferred. And I may not do it justice because I don't have the charisma, I guess, um, to do it as emotionally charged as it possibly needs to be. So I'm not a preacher or a teacher of sorts. I'm just simply an educator. And I actually use this lesson plan this past week and a half with my high school students because we were comparing the 1950s Chicago and their impression of an American dream with today's ideals or expression of an American dream. So I want to ask you guys this as you're listening to this, this poem, which... I'm going to give you as best as I can. So if I mess up, I apologize in advance. But I want you to think about this. Far too often, most of us, especially in this industry of network marketing, um, we say we have dreams of being financially and in time self-sufficient, um, independent financially, you know, or debt-free. And what I want to ask you guys is how close are you today than you were yesterday? For instance, I just came from the gym and I I really was taking an assessment of myself and I was saying to myself, I'm not where I want to be, you know, but I'm glad I'm sure as hell not where I was yesterday. And I think in this industry, you are living proof or you are that living testimony as to achieving your dreams or living your dreams every day, just simply by doing yourself and simply living in accordance to what um, you visualize yourself to be in terms of growth and maturity. But without further ado, let me get into it. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or just fester like a sore and run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Or maybe it just sags like a heavy load or does it explode? Think about that for a minute. Because, and the reason why I say that is because, um, oh, one, today is the first official day that my wife is conducting classes as a certified Zumba instructor. So shout out to my baby and the rest of the new instructors with Z Fitness with Jackie. Denitra, hey girl, good job, um, keep pushing, um, and, and the reason why I say this is because if you happen to be in North Carolina, especially in the Raleigh-Durham RTP area, on a side note, definitely hit me or my wife up or any of the Zumba instructors that are in this area, and me being a living testament of, of excuse my language, an ass kicking that you'll get while in a fun and inviting environment where, you know, you don't feel out of place unless you don't have rhythm like myself. Um, definitely reach out and, and consider yourself having a good time while at the same time improving your health and wellness. And which goes into my topic today, because a dream in its sense, um, what I want to ask you is this. Is your dream so clear and is your dream so important that you would die for it? And a lot of people claim that they're living their dreams every day, you know, um, that they're doing this and they're doing that and they're, and they're having certain levels of success, no matter how, you know, minute or minuscule, any achievement is achievement worth noting. And so is that enough for you to sustain what you're doing currently in order to make your dreams happen, in order for you to live your dreams every day? And the reason why I say this is because in ancient times, whether you knew this or not, in ancient times, the term for death simply just meant change. Whether that's physical to the spiritual, or whether that's from level of consciousness, um, in order for you to make things happen and become successful and achieve whatever goals you have in life, you must be willing to change to such a degree that you see those results happening. Oftentimes, I meet up with people who claim that they're, they, they want to die for their dreams, so to speak, but yet they're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to put in the necessary, um, I guess, manpower or hours to make that thing happen. We make more excuses than we make results when we make things happen. And so with that, I would encourage you guys to, if you don't have a mentor or somebody, let's say, with our addictions for mediocrity, if you don't have somebody that can push you to the next level, then you might want to check your um, your system that you have in tow. 
Um, I hear people all the time say, well, it's not your, your sponsor's it's not your sponsor's responsibility. Excuse the excuse the alliteration. That's a that's an English term. Um, it's not your upline's responsibility or job to make your dreams come true. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. But if you're truly a leader and you're truly in the business of serving and helping others become greater than their own possible, you know, common sense, then what I would suggest is this: you find somebody that can push you in such a way. That they will encourage you and, and, and help you realize what you have within yourself. You are a gem. And therefore, what I would say is if you're, if you're at a plateau right now, if you're feeling a little discouraged in terms of not seeing the results that you want, guess what? Don't give up. Um, like I said earlier, um, for me personally, I'm not where I want to be in some aspects, but I sure as hell am not the person that I was yesterday. And that's all that matters. And each day compounded, if you know anything about the law of compounded interest, you'll see dividends. Um, one of the exercises I do with my students, even though it's considered a math, I guess a math exercise, um, I use this in terms of personal development, um, not just with my online business, but in the English class that I have, um, we talk about what would you rather have? Would you rather have $10,000 check each month or would you rather have... Well, let's just say it like this. Would you rather have $100,000 or one penny compounded interest at 100% every day for 30 days? And if you understand, if you've heard this before, then you know at the end of 30, 31 days, you have over $10 million. If that penny compounds, in, I mean, in terms of doubling in value every day for 31 days. Um in 30 days, of course, it's five, over $5 million. But and the reason why I say this is not to impress you, but to impress upon you is that your self-development, your confidence, your education, your skills, your circle of influence, all these different factors are playing a part in doubling that penny for you. So it goes back to, are you willing to change or die for that dream? And every day you should look at yourself and evaluate yourself at the end of each day before, you know, whether you retire and take that time aside and you manage that time and you say, you know what, let me reflect on today and see if I've done everything that I could to become better than I was yesterday. One of my, one of my, one of my, um, I guess one of the things that I always try to tell my students in class is that if there's no value to your education, then there's nothing I can say or do that's going to convince you otherwise. So therefore, if you have a value for your education, my intent or my job is to actually make you just a little bit smarter than you were coming into my classroom. Then you build upon that. And if once you have that sturdy foundation, you can grow exponentially, you know. So your dreams, evaluate what your dreams are doing right now. Evaluate where you're trying to be physically. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, what other other factors that you want to take into consideration and in, in looking at the whole you. And I want and I would suggest you to do this. If you don't have a support system, get one. I'm not saying it has to be me, but get somebody that you trust enough where they can tell you, hey, look, you're messing up. Hey, look, you're not doing this right. Look, you need to suck it up and push it harder. OK, and. You should be able to, outside of your ego, you should be able to take that in consideration, whether you like it or not, and understand that they're doing this to help empower you to see that jewel within yourself. This is Philip Lied, Team Lied, live your dreams every day. I want you guys to die for your dream today. Peace.